Space. Ever wondered if there's aliens out there? Of course there's aliens out there. But they're not all out there. Some of them are living right here on Earth. Maybe right in your city. Maybe right next door to you. What on Earth? I agreed to two hours of alien hunting. Can we please get back to our history assignment now? We're making history? <sighs> How is this history? There are aliens in the city. How can you deny the evidence? What am I looking for? <sighs> See that cloud? Notice the weird shape? Not really. Well, I do. That's a weirdo cloud. The kind of cloud that a spacecraft would be hiding behind. The assignment is due on Monday. And the aliens are due today. How could you possibly know that? I have an app. Seriously? Also, wouldn't the aliens just land their craft in a secluded location, like in the movies? That's not how the alien mind works. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You want evidence? How's this for evidence? I know where the aliens are. You coming? It's not like I have anything else to do. Like an assignment. This is the place. You know this is my apartment block, right? Yeah. Weird. This is it. This is my apartment. Oh no, not there. There. You're kidding. You know who lives there? Mr. Ong. As in our history teacher, Mr. Ong. We could ask for an extension. Or we can do the assignment. What are you doing? We have to warn him. Isabel! Zachary? Isabel, what can I do for you? It's about our history assignment. We're doing it and we thought that we'd come to tell you No. That... We come to warn you. We believe you may be in danger of alien activity. I'm sorry. What? Aliens! We tracked them here. I see. And in what way would I be in danger exactly? That isn't clear, but you'll know when it happens. Well, it doesn't appear to be happening right now. You don't understand. They could already be here, lurking. Aliens have humongous powers of lurking. Do I look like someone that aliens would travel across the cosmos to lurk around? Thank you for your concern, but I assure you I am not in danger from anyone. Least of all, aliens, whom I strongly suspect, do not exist. Oh, they exist. Just not right here, maybe? Right now? Then I suggest that the two of you get back to that history assignment. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Ong. Sorry, loving the socks. <laughs> Happy now? Of course not. I spent like four dollars on the app. Where do these kids get their ideas? Ah! Do not be alarmed. We have come to take you. Welcome to Earth. Well, that was a disaster. You know what? I'm going to go apologize to Mr. Ong again. See you back at your place? Okay. You okay? Not really. Look, is there anything I can do? Maybe we could go halves on this new app? It's $50. $50? Oh, come on. It's guaranteed to find at least 10 aliens. Well, how about we get a $5 one and find one alien? Haha. <laughs> See ya. See you. Emissary. It is an honor to meet you. It's been a long time since anyone's called me emissary. Would you prefer us to use your Earth title? If so, what is that title? You'll have to tell us in order to facilitate the adding of it by us. Sir, 
You can call me Raffles, Raffles Ong. <laughs> you Raffles Ong? That's your name? Yes, it is. Commander! It's such a silly name! It happens to be a very dignified name. Okay. I'm sure the Commander would like to apologize. Yes, I would. Raffles! <laughs> Who is it? It's Zachary, Mr. Ong. Can I talk to you? <gasps> what can I do for you, Zachary? I, uh... I wanted to apologize again. What's a Zachary? He's not a Zachary, he's a human. <gasps> We've never encountered a human before. It's perfectly all right. I'm kind of busy right now. Now's our opportunity. What? No! <laughs> well, if you're busy... <laughs> I know this must seem very strange. But honestly, there is nothing to be scared of. In military terms, how would you describe the human's appearance? Somewhere between the gargoyles of Have Your Dad Five and the chimpanzee people of Pluto. Agreed. Hey. I'm sorry, they've never met a human before. Are they going to turn me into an alien? Like they've done to you? We haven't turned him into a Zatavian. He is a Zatavian. No, he's not. He's Mr. Ong. Ah! <laughs> Why aren't you an alien anymore? I am. This is just my human form. <sighs> ah! 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 So I'm not dreaming. Great. Zachary, I know this must come as a shock, but I am from the planet Zatabia. I came to Earth nearly a hundred years ago to study humans. I had to adopt a human form to fit in. So you're in disguise. Exactly. And you're over a hundred years old. Zatabians age very slowly on Earth. Raffles' mission here on Earth is one of the greatest ever undertaken. Sorry, who's Raffles? I am. It's my first name. Raffles? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Ong. Anyways, who are you guys? <gasps> Deputy Commander Leonardo of the Zatavian Space Force. Second in command of this mission. Senior Commander Neela, commander of this mission. Yes, I'm the one in charge running everything. So tiring. Commander Neela's uncle, Maximilian, is on Zatavia's great big high council. Uncle Maxi has nothing to do with me getting this command. I totally got it on my own. I don't know why you'd bring him up. You're totally right. Why would I? <laughs> right. And what are you guys doing here? Well, first we're eating. And then we're taking Raffles back to Zatabia with us. What? Immediately? Hey! I haven't eaten since Neptune. <laughs> I mean about returning to Zatabia. No, your mission here is complete. It's time to return home and report. In that order. Return, then report. Return, report. Sir. You have to understand, I have been here a long time. It's become home. I've almost mastered whistling. Anyway, I don't know that I want to just up and leave. Those are your orders, and our orders are to take you. Your orders, our orders. I understand, but perhaps I don't want to follow orders. <gasps> but we all need to follow orders. How else do we know if we're doing the right thing? <laughs> hey, all my numbers were in there. Then you'll have to learn new numbers. I find 11 very useful. I have built a life here. I have learned how to whistle. And I've got a job. Yeah, 
Mr. Ong's like the best teacher in school. He really cares. I can't just go and leave my students. I refuse to leave immediately. These are delicious. That's soap. <laughs> really? On Zagabia, we use soap for washing ourselves. And so do we. Really? <laughs> She's really your commander. I did mention about her uncle. <laughs> your orders are to return home and report your findings, and that is what you're going to do. No! Wait! <laughs> Before anyone vaporizes anyone, how about you give Mr. Ong like a week to think about it? If he does decide to go, at least it'll give him some time to say goodbye. We'll consider it. His information is essential for the invasion of Earth. I know this would mean delaying the invasion. Quick, appear unconcerned. You're smiling. That's good, right? Perhaps, but the Tapians very rarely smile. Sometimes it's good. But mostly, it's very, very...